say that I'm sipping wine And I'm rolling I look too good Hi y'all, welcome back to another video. Excuse the way I look, I'm just chilling. But I just got back from the house from Aldi and Publix. I needed to re-up on my coffee because I do not have really anything in the house. I have a little bit of creamer left, but not any more stock code brew. So I wanted to go to Aldi and get some stuff. So I wanted to show y'all what I ended up getting. It's a very small haul. I'll do Aldi first and then Publix last because Publix I only got creamer, but I got a really good deal on the creamer. I got some Nutella, quote unquote, hazelnut spread and then almond butter. I got a half a gallon of milk. I never buy a full gallon because I it always goes to waste. I don't drink milk that often. Some taco seasoning and some ground turkey because I'm going to make a really quick lunch for myself. I got two of the stock code brews. These are my favorite. I've mentioned this multiple times. I re-up every single week. And I want to say, I was just thinking about this as I was getting this. I think one of this is like three to four coffees, depending on how much you drink. So I've been doing a good job on not buying coffee as much and even drinking coffee as much. So I just figured I'd do this along with the creamer. I got some olives for the tacos, controlled tortillas. Just trying to make this a somewhat decent lunch. And then I'll show you all the remaining things that I got from Aldi, but I got some strawberries because they were buy one, get one free. And then I got four things of creamer for $10, which is a really good deal. So the sweet cream, I always, this is my favorite one. I believe this one is a permanent uh, cream right now, but it's a cinnamon coffee cake. I haven't tried this. The white chocolate raspberry, if I'm not mistaken, is seasonal for Valentine's Day, and they only had two left, so I ended up picking up one. I don't really like this in iced coffee, but it's really good with hot coffee. The last one is cookie dough. So I haven't tried this one, and I don't know, I, I'm not sure if this is limited edition or not, but like I said, four creamers. I'm about to put these in the fridge. But four creamers for less than $10, which is, or about $10, which is a really good deal because I had a coupon and they were buy one, get one free. So um, each of these run four to $5. So that was a good deal. And then the last two things that I ended up getting from Aldi, this was kind of like a impulsive buy, but I have a candle warmer or mug warmer on in my Amazon cart right now at the moment. And I want to do that because I don't want to burn candles as much as I do. I actually don't even burn candles a lot. I use wax uh, warmers, wax melts a lot, and then the oil diffusers. So I ended up finding these. There's two, they were $7.99 each. I'll show you this one first. But this one is just an electric wax warmer and it says coffee is always a good idea, but it's super cute. It's like a coffee mug. And it's you have to plug it in, obviously, because it's electric, but it says no flame, no smoke, warming plate quickly melts, wax cubes, safe and easy to use, which I feel like this is such a good option, especially if you have kids, pets, cats. And then I got this one that says, give me the tea. I really wanted the coffee one, but this one is really cute too. I figured I might put this downstairs if this thing will focus. Let's give me the tea with this cute like matcha pistachio color. So that's what I ended up getting, but $7.99, I felt like that was a pretty good deal for these. So check out your Aldi um, and see if they have these. They also had some like Gourmet scented candles, but I really, really like the vanilla one from them. I've bought a few different candles from Aldi in the past and they didn't burn as well. The throw wasn't as good. So I'm excited to use these. I actually am still trying to finish that one soy vanilla one that I got from them. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. Ollie's actually gonna be coming over very, very shortly and I'm gonna get my nails done because look how grown out they are. I think it's been five weeks since I've had these on, but the funny thing is, is the like gemstones and stuff are still intact if the camera will focus. But I'm excited to get these done because they're so long. I keep like hitting so many buttons on my phone and on my laptop and having so many typos. So I'm ready to get these off and get a new set on. So like I said, let me go ahead, put this stuff away. I'm gonna finish um, folding laundry before she comes and then I'll flip the camera around when it is time for me to get my nails done. Ali just left. I finished with my nails and we were just chatting for a while. Hopefully it'll focus and I'm probably gonna have to show y'all this tomorrow in sunlight because we did a pink base and then a light pink top and some flowers. Now it is seven o'clock and I have not ate yet. So I'm going to make these turkey tacos really quickly and then kind of just chill on. I also need to clear off this breakfast table because I have a ton of stuff 
on this table. I'm going to do an Easter egg situation here for the month of March since Easter actually falls in March. So um, that's what I'm about to do with this. This I'm going to put on the kitchen counter, but my dad and I are still trying to finalize the kitchen. Here are some egg candles that my mom um, thrifted for me. I'm going to go ahead and put these up kind of like I did, like I said, the similar Valentine's ones. I think I said that in the last vlog. And then these I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead, flip the camera around and start making this food. Do not mind. I have tons of Vaseline on my lip right now because they're so dry. They're actually hurting and burning um, because I have not put anything on them all day. So I'm about to make these tacos and then I'll turn the camera around so I can start putting this Easter stuff up, the minimal decorations that I do have. Change of plans. I'm actually about to go to my parents to eat and I'm going to save the tacos for tomorrow. But let me show y'all what I did with these Easter egg candles. This typically goes on the breakfast table, but because things are still under construction, it's up here on the counter. But I just put these two eggs right here, put these eggs right here on top of the fireplace. That's what this looks like. So I wanted to tell you all about these scents right here, these perfume oils. I picked them up at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I got this one from Marshalls, this one from TJ Maxx. I've already tried the Pistachio Dream. This particular one smells almost identical or probably the closest thing, very, 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 very similar to the Kaoli Pistachio. So if you can get your hands on this, I would highly recommend getting them because the longevity on them is crazy. It's so good. So I've already tried this one, uh, the pistachio one. I want to try the vanilla musk with you all. They retail for $14.99 at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So really good deal and a little goes a long way. This one has scent notes of, I want to say pistachio, vanilla, and maybe like sweet cream, buttercream, something like that. I threw the tag away, so I don't know the scent notes on it, but I know for sure pistachio and vanilla. This one, the vanilla musk has coconut and vanilla and musk. This one smells really good when I first opened the bottle. This reminded me of a tropical vacation. I think this is the perfect summer scent. So I wanted to try it to see if the longevity on it is going to be as good as the pistachio one. I right now have um, cocoa butter on my skin because um, that's just the lotion that I opted for. So I'll see if it smells good with that. But I just put about two, three drops on my arm for now. I haven't tried using it on my entire body just because, like I said, I wanted to test the longevity of it. Oh, but it smells so good. It just, it smells like a Luxe Tropical Coconut Vanilla scent. And I know coconut vanilla is like one of those, eh, you know, it comes out every single summer or whatever. But this one, maybe it's the musk in the end notes, but it just smells so good. So I wanted to tell y'all about these because if you can get your hands on it, go check your TJ Maxx and Marshall. I want to shout out to Ollie for telling me about this because she's the one that put me onto it. So she told me a couple days later, I went to Marshall's. I was like, let me see what I can find. So I saw the pistachio. Um, and then they had the vanilla musk as well. And I was like, okay, I can only walk out with one. I don't need all of these. But when I tried the pistachio, I was on a mission to find the vanilla musk and I was able to find it not at a Marshall's, but at a TJ Maxx. So if you can find them, you need these, you need to get your hands on them because they are so freaking good. And for $14.99, you really can't beat that as a price point. And this is just, like I said, the perfect oil to really make a lot of your scents last. You can layer them, you can mix them. This particular one I'll put on and I have the pistachio one, the Kaoli pistachio. So I'll still spray that, but my longevity and my perfume in general will go for hours and hours. So if you can, see if you can find these. They're so freaking good. I will also insert a picture right here. There was three other scents at one of the TJ Maxx that I went to. However, they were more um, floral -y. I'm not a huge like floral person. One of them smelled too like rose-like for me and I just do not I don't like rose scents and floral scents like that they have to be mixed with something sweet um so I will like I said insert the picture right here so you all can see uh what other scents they have I'm sure that they're rolling out to different stores so like I said just make sure that you're on the lookout for it swing by your TJ Maxx Marshalls if you are a fragrance lover I just came on here to say you need these and let's go make coffee I figured we can do a quick taste test because this is the first time that I'm trying the cinnamon coffee cake by Chobani. Um, it definitely took me like five minutes to open this freaking cold brew. I don't know what the heck happened. It was so tight. I had to use a knife to um, loosen it. And then also too, this was all the way on top of the cap. But anyway, that's what it took me a minute to make this. But let's go try this. It's 
it's good. I don't know if I would get this one again because I feel like I can make this at home with like cinnamon and, and honey. That's what it tastes like, like a cinnamon, honey, iced coffee. It's not too sweet, so I can say that if you want, if you're looking for a creamer that's not too, too sweet, this is probably a good option. So anyway, I'm about to go take this into the office, chill for a little bit. Uh, Mona and I meet in about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna get my computer started and get ready for the day. Done with my call with Mona. It is currently 12.17. We were on a call for about two hours. So I'm going to make lunch. Things I need to do around the house and a laundry list of things I need to do for Empowered. But I'm gonna go ahead and make these tacos real quick. And then I need to clean my bathroom. I need to refold all of my clothes because I'm looking for a shirt and I cannot freaking find this shirt. So I was like, let me go ahead and just use this as an opportunity to reorganize my closet. Um. So that's what I'm about to do. My mind's kind of all over the place because I have so much to do. And then I'm gonna jump back on the computer once I'm done with these things. I'm try to get as much done as possible. I think between now and probably four or 5 p.m. I should have a good bit of things done back on the computer. So I just wanted to check in, but let's go ahead and make these tacos. I'm also watching 90 Day Fiance. This is a guilty pleasure show of mine. I hate that I love it, but I just cannot get enough of it. So when I'm not reading and I'm wasting my time, having something playing in the background, it's usually like 90 Day Fiance or some type of TLC show. So just a little fun fact about me. My taco is just ground turkey, cheese, and then a carb control tortilla. So I'm about to eat. I figured we can go ahead and set this up right here since I have an outlet right over here. to do is put this on right here while I have this going well I haven't turned it on yet but I got these from Amazon because I hate having to take wax out waiting for it to melt but they're these little cups right here that you use we'll go ahead and break this we'll do one for now let's see how long it takes to heat lights on back there which indicates that the wax warmer is on if it will not focus because I'm not trying to let it focus this is what it looks like so I'm gonna time to see how long it takes for this wax cube to go ahead and melt I have to get out of frame for how big this bag is so I wanted to show y'all Ali brought this over yesterday I look hot mess because I cleaned my bathroom and then I finally found that brown tank top after going through all of my clothes and refolding it so I also fixed my closet while I was at it but um, I got some things done, my chores done. But anyway, Ollie ended up coming over with this bag of goodies um, yesterday when she came to do my nails. And I already know what's in it because she <laughs> asked me to open it in front of her. So I went ahead and did it. I'm laughing because I'm one of those people. I don't like to open gifts in front of people. But she asked, so I was like, yes. But a really cute bag. It's like this teddy material. It's really big, a good travel bag, a good gym bag, a good pool bag. So many different uses for it. And then also too on the back right here, it has this strap so you could put it on your luggage. You put this in as a filler, but look how cute. She was going with the pink theme, but she's always so good and crafty. There are these, uh, you, there's a strap at the side, but she got me these really cute pocket bags. So one is a pineapple. She was telling me about this. I was like, oh, it was so cute. I was gonna buy it. And then I was also gonna buy this one. But I had just got the vintage heart cake, um, the heart cake keychain and then the cinnamon roll in, so I didn't get them, but this is what it looks like. Next is this super cute notebook right here. It is just a lined notebook, but this is a good size to just throw in my work bag. This is what the front looks like. To know me is to know I also really, really love claw clips. So she got me these two claw clips right here. There's like a white iridescent and then this one's a white, I mean not a white, pink and blue iridescent. It kind of reminds me of cotton candy, but this is what these look like. I love claw clips. This is what it looks like and it's in hot pink. I love this. I have one in cream, but not a color one. And I told her, I was like, oh, I wanted either a pink one or an orange one. I have the cream one in my reusable bags for when I go shopping to like Aldi and places that don't have plastic bags. And typically when I do my big grocery hauls, I use all of my reusable bags. So this is super cute. I'm super excited for this one. I have some pimple patches right here by Cost RX. I have yet to try these. 
So I'm super excited to try them because I always use pimple patches and my cycle's coming up. So I'm, it's about that time to be using these. Bath and Body Works, can we get into the pinks? I love them. This one on the right is Coconut Pina Colada. It smells so good. This one is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This one smells really good. It smells like a tropical vacation fruity situation. So I love thick socks and fluffy socks like this. They're perfect for when I put Vaseline on my feet and walk around the house in socks because sometimes I do that to lock in the moisture. I need two of these cups. These are from the Target Bullseye. This one is pink. I have the clear one. That's what I was using earlier in the vlog, but I never picked up the pink ones and then regretted it because I could never find them. She so happened to find them and ended up getting me two of these. So I'm so excited for these. I mentioned in a previous vlog, I love smiley faces. So this really cute smiley face mug and it is also iridescent. So this iridescent color kind of, the iridescent vibes remind me of um, just cotton candy. Like that's the best way to describe it, but it's so cute. I love smiley faces. Last but not least, last thing that's in here, well actually there's two things, I forgot there's a zipper pocket, is the strap because this also um, is not only a tote but you could put a long strap so like I said it's good for the gym, it's good for traveling, pool bag, beach bag, just because it's so big. So I'm excited to use this as well since I can convert it. And then she ended up getting me a Little Words Project bracelet. I love Little Words Project bracelets. I have a few of them. I've been collecting them. So anytime Target has them on sale, I typically buy them. And I love them most especially because of the fit. I have really small wrists. I don't know if you can tell on camera. So a lot of times bracelets just do not fit on me. So they have a small, medium, and little words, pro little words project. So if you do have smaller wrists and you want to get into wearing bracelets or just start stacking bracelets, then I would recommend them. But this one's so cute. I love it because it says ride or die on it. I love that just because when I think of Ali, I think of her and like our friendship is just very much like very caring. We're always like looking out for each other. So Ali, thank you so much. I don't know if you watch my videos. So if you do, thank you, thank you, thank you. So happy to have all of these things because girl, you know, I will use them. So I wanted to show you all these things that were in the bag uh, while that wax warmer is melting because I don't know, it's taking a little minute, but also too, I don't think the heat on it gets very high. So that's probably why it's not burning as fast, but I'm about to go check on it. So let's go see what's going on with it. So the wax finally melted. It took a little minute, but I am so excited for this because now I don't have to worry about burning so many candles, but it did take a minute. This does get kind of hot, so you gotta be careful, but for the most part, it looks super cute. I had to turn some extra light on in here because the sun started to go down, but this is what the um, corner looks like now. I also don't think that I mentioned this, but I did pick up some library books over the past weekend. So these are gonna be my March to be read list. So just wanted to show y'all, I'll keep y'all posted on them once I finish them. This is probably gonna be one of the first ones I read because I'm almost, I'm so, so close to finishing Things We Hide From The Light and I have to return that one. But here are my March to be read. So if you read any of these, let me know. I can't wait to read them, but I'll keep y'all posted. There was that vlog that I had posted and I did not shave my legs. So I finally shaved my legs, got a wax done. I'm coming back to life and then I also did my toes. I just did red even though my nails are pink but because nobody's really gonna see my toes like that, I really just decided to go with red. Wanted to give y'all a quick book review on this book, Things We Hide From The Light. It was really good. The lead up in the end was similar to the first one. So it's a very, I guess like context heavy, the first, like 75% of the book and then like the last 25%, there's like this plot twist, a little bit of a crime situation, but it was really good. I have one more book to read from this series. So if you are looking for a series to start, this series is a good one. But I am gonna go ahead and return this and head out for the day. Well, I did not vlog any today, but I just got out of the shower. That's where my hair looks kind of wet because I accidentally got water on it. But I just finished using the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. I'm about to go pour me an Olipop. It's that time of the month, so energy is low. And I want to show you all this plant that I need to, I think, throw out. Its time has come, and I want to go to a plant store to get another one to replace it over there. So let me go out and show you all that, and then let me make this Olipop while I'm out there as well. It was an elephant ears and it has definitely seen better days as you can tell with a quick zoom the soil is dry 
the root is literally not healthy so i'm just gonna throw this out because i don't think i can bring it back to life and then pick up another one so i'll show y'all when i go get another one of these I am